Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I have a problem from the McClave text and my stat lab. This is problem 4.3.41, and it tells us consider the following binomial probability distribution. And it gives us this scary looking formula, which maybe you will recall P of X from X equals 0 to X equals 5 times 0.4x times 0.6 to the 5 minus x for x equal 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And they want to know, is x a discrete or continuous random variable? They want us to graph the probability distribution and find the mean and standard deviation of x. Well, let's look at some things that you may recall. And again, I hate that you need to remember a few equations um, I'm hoping that you will put these in your notes so you can call it up. Uh, this is the general form of binomial probability distribution. And you can see that it is from x to n and p to the x, q to the n minus x for x equals 0 to n. p is the probability that we're normally given in, in these binomial probability distributions. And remember, a binomial is essentially a yes-no, win-lose, success-failure, and that the probability has to be constant throughout the experiment. Q is just 1 minus P. And so if we look at this general form and then look at the equation they've given us there, N is 5, that's that place right there, P is 0.4, Q is 0.6, which is 1 minus 0.4 would be 0.6. So we've got N, P, and Q. One of the things then that should be in your notes for binomials, the mean of the binomial is just N times P, the proportion P times the uh, count. And sigma, the standard deviation, is just the square root of N, P, Q. And again, we know N, P, and Q, so it's just a multiplication and then taking a square root to get that. That's pretty straightforward. You can do those things with this calculator. Let's answer the first question. Is x a discrete or continuous random variable? Well, by definition, in the binomial, it's a discrete distribution because the only outcomes are success or failure. One success, two success, three success, four success, five success. You can count those. So that means it's definitely a discrete random variable. Okay, I've got StatCrunch open, and I'm going to bring it over a little bit in the center, and we're going to go to Stat, Calculators, Binomial, and it brings up the Binomial Calculator, and it has an N of 10, we want an N of 5, and our p-value is 0.4. I'm just going to leave the 5 in this area for a second, click on Compute, and it will draw us the graph, the uh, the bar chart, column chart, or even you know you can call it histogram if you want, of this binomial distribution for zero to five. And let's just drag over here so we can see our choices. And this uh, doesn't look right because this is skewed to the left. And this is uh, not even bell-shaped and skewed to the left. This is not bell-shaped, skewed to the right. This is bell-shaped with a little skew to the right, which is what we have here. And so we would pick D for that. Remember, um, although it's not part of this problem, 4.3.41, once you've gotten your binomial distribution in the calculator, you can calculate these particular values. This shows the probability of less than or equal to 5 is 1, and we've got red bars on all of those. I can put less than or equal to 3 and click Compute, and it gives me the probability of 0.91, again, the red bars. 91% probability that it'll be 3 or less with a N of 5 and a P of 0.4. And what is the probability of greater than 3 is 0.08, which would be obviously 1 minus less than 3. So remember that we can use the uh, uh, calculator that way. Okay, the last part of the question is to find the mean and standard deviation of x. And remember, we've got the mean is just NP. So I brought up the uh, 
Windows calculator here, and I'm just going to put in 0.4, which is our P, times N of 5 equals 2 would be our mean, which is the answer they have here. The uh, sigma is the square root of NPQ. So we've got N times P. Let's just multiply that times Q, which is 0.6 equal. And that gives us 1.2. Now I take the square root of that is 1.095. And that is the standard deviation. So it's pretty straightforward. Again, I regret that you have to remember a little bit about the binomial and some basic equations, but again, you should keep those in your notes. Just know that when you see binomial, go find your notes and pull up these two, uh, these three uh, equations that you will you will need. Hope this helps.